This episode is brought to you by Google Pixel, the official fan phone of the NBA and WNBA. The new Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro are built different. How? Take the audio magic eraser tool. It helps block out distracting crowd noise so your play-by-play commentary sounds crystal clear. The only phone engineered by Google brings out the audio you care about so your videos sound as crisp as they look. Learn more at googlestore.com forward slash pixel NBA. Audio magic eraser requires Google Photos app. May not work on all audio elements. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, now I want to talk on this whole Jake Paul, Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather situation and kind of just give you guys my thoughts and ideas on it. Because I think this has the potential on being something big. Um, I mean, like, if Jake Paul and Logan Paul live up to what they're saying, then I think that this has something, you know, it, it has the potential to be something big. But if not, then this is, you know, I think that this is just going to overall be a payday. I just think that that's what the entertainment business, regardless of what you're doing, like, it's all about the money. So at the end of the day, like, Floyd and uh, Logan Paul, they could just stand across the ring from each other and overall, like, you know, just, what, throw a couple of hits, wait till the bell, um, like, or, you know, wait till the bell rings, fight's over, like, at the end of the day, like, if my thing is, is like, so here's what I think. Here's what I think. Floyd is going to win. All right? Floyd is going to win. He's a more experienced boxer. Um, Logan Paul, I feel like he is at some point in time going to get nervous. Now, if he does it, he does it. But based off of his fight with KSI, my thing is, like, he couldn't even win against KSI. You know? So my thing is, is like, you KSI is, like, nowhere near as a professional boxer than Floyd Mayweather. And there's no disrespect to KSI. I have nothing but respect for KSI and his boxing ability. But comparing himself to Floyd Mayweather, that's that's not a good comparison. Like, KSI, I'm like, I, I can't really think of a boxer that, you know, like, a professional boxer. A boxer that's, like, you know, they, they didn't get their fame from, like, YouTube and all of that stuff. Like... I, there's boxers out there I feel like that we don't know of that can hang with KSI, that can hang with Logan Paul and give them a run for their money and show them like, hey, this boxing stuff, it's serious. So that's why I'm like, you know, and once again, it's no disrespect to Logan, Jake Paul, um, KSI, or any other, you know, person. I'm not saying that it's like, you know, oh, that's like because you're a YouTuber or a TikToker or some sort of entertainer, you don't have no boxing ability. Anybody could gain a boxing ability if you train for it. And if you like work hard for it, anybody could get the um, boxing ability if you really want that. But here's what I think, okay? Here's what I think is going to happen the day of June 6th when Floyd and uh, Logan Paul go head to head. I do think that Floyd, he is going to, you know, he's going to lure him in. Because my thing is, is like, uh, Floyd went up against Conor McGregor. Now, fighting ability, I honestly think that Conor McGregor would hands down demolish Floyd in a fight. But, and I'm and I'm saying like with his abilities versus uh, Floyd Mayweather, I'm saying like his MMA abilities versus um, Floyd's abilities. Like when you, my thing is like when you limit uh all body like fighter and stuff i i just feel like that you know it's not a fair fight even though like he signed up to do this boxing fight with um with uh floyd mayweather at the time he he i just felt like that he was limited you know because he couldn't really do none of that mma stuff but if he would have been doing some of that mma stuff oh he would have hands down demolished uh floyd Hands down, 100%. Like, that's why they had it where it was just like, okay, boxing and boxing. And they come Floyd. And that's why Floyd never stepped in the ring with no uh, MMA fighter. Now, fast forward. Uh, Logan Paul, now he's going up against uh, Floyd. And here's the thing, like, to include Jake Paul into this. I feel like Jake Paul made Floyd even more upset. I feel like Floyd is going to really dig down. And here's the thing. Like, now, that could be the possibility, too, where... Uh, Floyd, he's just so like filled up and angry and upset. Now he unlet let this um, guy get into his head. And now he's not thinking straight. And it could just be that one hit, that one hit that Logan's talking about, excuse me, where he lands it, then that's it. The internet is going to go crazy. If he stuns 
or knocks down Floyd Mayweather, if he just if he just throws if my thing is like if he just jabs him right or just gives him a straight and Floyd's head goes back and you see a bunch of sweat just flying off of Floyd, yeah, the uh that they're gonna talk about that. Even though Floyd will win the fight, they're gonna talk about that. How Logan Paul, an YouTuber, somebody that's nowhere like his record, his record compared to Floyd's um record, like that's why I'm like, and this, and I'm saying that this man's been doing this a lot longer, so he has. I feel like that's the one thing that you would pick up um being like anything really, you know, um like any sort of entertainers, like you're gonna pick up like entertainers that you go up against, you know. So it's like whether it's a comedian or a musician or. You know, like, that's like, that's like if, uh, if we're going to talk about, like, musicians, that's like if Lil Pump said that he could go up against Kendrick Lamar in a rap battle. Kendrick Lamar done went up against people in rap battles. This man done released multiple albums. Like, this man has added nothing but art behind, behind his music. Lil Pump, on the other hand, he's a club banger. He just got into this not too long ago. Here it is, Kendrick, he's been at this for, like, what, since he was a kid? So, I'm like, and I, I, I you know, and that's the thing, where I'm like, it just really, I, I just think that, you know, with, um, just with that, like, when it's that versus stuff is getting talked about, like, who, this person against this person, um, I just feel like that Kendrick, like, he just has more experience. He's, like, he's came from, like, different generations, um, Lil Pump, on the other hand, he's just, what, a part of this, like, generation. Like, not even a part... I feel like it's like a new age of music that's starting right now. But he doesn't have that many generations, um, like, you know, upon him. Rather than with, like, now getting back to Floyd and Logan Paul. Um, Floyd, this man's been, like, boxing since... How long has he been boxing? Let me look it up real quick. Floyd Mayweather. He's Floyd Mayweather Jr., He's been boxing since, man, it's only 44 years old, huh? Okay, wait a second. Mayweather had an amateur record of 84 and 8. Dang, he lost, so he actually lost some fights. I just, I always thought that this man, like, he he never lost. Like, that's, wow, Floyd then lost some, um, well, it was like amateur, so it was when he very first started, but... Anyways, they don't even say, okay, let me just actually, let me just look at, I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. Um, did Floyd, Mayweather, started boxing. October 11th, so that was when his, like, pro boxing, so this man's been boxing literally since my birth year, okay, so... Floyd's been, and then Logan Paul, how old is Logan Paul? I think he was born in 95. Yeah, so it's like, okay, Logan, when you was, this is how you got to view it, right? This is how you got to view it. When Logan was born, Floyd was doing amateur boxing, and he went in amateur boxing. Hold on, let me go, let me go back to it, because... They was like, he went like 80 and 8, so it's like, man, won some fights um, for sure. Uh, so yeah, this man had an amateur record of 84 and 8, and that was like in 90. So my thing is, is like, before you was even born, bruh, this man was already making a name for himself in the amateur league of boxing. And then a year after you was born, uh, this man goes pro has the probably the one of the most successful um pro boxing careers of all time definitely of our time and you just start getting getting into boxing like a few years ago and you think that you have the experience to beat floyd in a fight like i that's what i'm like and that's what i'm saying like you know i feel like with logan because i think they said with logan he used to do wrestling so i think that that's um, when you're a limited fighter, when you're not able to do the things that you want to do, then it's going to, you know, you, you going to be feeling held back. Like you like, oh man, I want to do this, but I can't. Floyd, he's all like, this is what I've been doing. And I've been doing it since before you was born. So you really think, do you honestly think that Floyd is going to lose this fight? Fight. His, um, this fight. This man has went up against some of the best boxers of all time. Like, and that would be my question to Logan. Do you think you'd be able to win a fight against... 
Floyd Mayweather's easiest fight. Let's 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 just see who is his uh Floyd Mayweather easiest fight. His claim Canelo Alvarez was his easiest um opponent after the Mexicans signed a record 365 mil. All right, so Canelo uh Alvarez and I'm like, that's a name that I think a lot of people are familiar with. Like, <laughs> he ain't just some old small little boxer. Like, nah, man. This man has only lost one time. So my question, my question to Logan would would be, do you think, dang, and that was like his, the only fight that he lost was against, oh, there was like two draws, but dang, I didn't realize that was the only fight that he lost was against Floyd. Well, I'm like, okay, well, then that makes, you know, sense and stuff. But anyways, that would be my question to Logan Paul. Do you think you would be able to beat um, Canelo uh, Alvarez in a fight, in a boxing fight? Because if you think that you um, can beat him in a boxing fight, then it's like, okay, you know something that we don't know. And that's why I'm like, even in a Conor McGregor, and that's why I'm like, I'm very curious to see how Conor McGregor, because I'm like, Conor McGregor was um hanging with... uh. Floyd in that in their boxing fight so that's why I'm like I feel like that and if he and my thing is like if he said that Canelo Alvarez a pro boxer was his easiest fight versus when he went up against uh Conor McGregor like that's why I'm like bro do you guys honestly think that you have a chance against them especially I'm like I think Jake Paul will have more of a chance against Floyd than Logan because I'm like I've the two fights that I had seen of Logan, which was the two KSI fights, and I remember I did see, like, he did that one where he was boxing that uh, that look-alike guy from uh, Rocky IV. It wasn't the actual dude from Rocky IV, the, the Russian guy or whatever that dude um, was. W was he Russian or Ukrainian? I, I'm like, I ain't trying to say something that's, like, you know gonna mess around and people were like oh you 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 don't know the difference and now they're gonna try to cancel me wait what's his name is Dolph he Swedish oh so he's actually Sweden huh why was he playing a, uh was he but he was portraying himself as a Russian and uh or was he I don't freaking know but anyways the Sweden guy from um Rocky 4 there is like I remember when Logan Paul did this video a while ago where he was boxing a guy that looked like him and, um, yeah, it was like, Logan did good, but I'm like, the question is, is that guy a professional fighter, or is he just really good at taking hits? You know, like, that's the type of stuff that I think people need to, you know, sit down and, like, think about. Like, with this fight, we need to really just put this down, like, on a piece of paper, right? We need to roll this out like how Macaulay Culkin was lo rolling out them papers in Home Alone. So we gotta see this, like, this whole plan, like, you know, put together, right? So you got Logan Paul few years of experiences um with boxing floyd mayweather years like before on like before or actually not even before because i was born in august 10th so after yeah they're like so after um logan and myself was born that's when uh floyd was uh became a pro boxer but but if we're gonna talk if we're gonna talk on that just whole boxing lifestyle of floyd we got, you know, we got to bring up his amateur record. So this man went 80 something, 84 and 8, I think that's what it was. 84 and 8. So this man is always like, he's won 80 amateur fights. All right. 80 of them. Lost 8, but we ain't going to talk on that. But that was before our time. That was before both me and Logan Paul's time. I don't know why I'm including myself in it. But anyways, it was before Logan Paul's time where uh, Floyd was um, already like starting off his boxing career. So... As you're getting older, you're seeing this man box like what? Maybe every year, every couple years, however long it takes for Floyd to, you know, recover and get back to boxing and stuff. You've been watching this man, right? And then you get into your boxing uh, lifestyle. You get into your boxing career. You train, you know, for a little bit. But this here's the thing, though. And it's no disrespect to any content creator, but... I feel like that the times when you're doing your podcast or when you're doing videos, I don't even think, I can't remember the last time uh, um, Logan Paul did a YouTube video. Let me see real quick. Logan Paul. Last video. Oh, he uploaded a video three days ago. How come I didn't get no um, notification of it? And it was with the uh, whole, wow. 
I'm trying to think. Am I? I know I'm still subscribed to his channel. I'm like, bro, what in the man? I swear, but anyways, all right, yeah. So I'm gonna definitely have to uh, watch that video um, after I'm done with this. But anyways, I feel like the times when you're recording videos, being a content creator, doing your podcast, impulsive, uh, what other things that you're doing? Um, you're doing all of these things while Floyd is training every single day. I feel like that with content creators is like, especially when they get into that boxing stuff. Like, for an example, um, Comedy Shorts Gamer, Deji. That man wasn't, I mean, what, he was, he'd been wanting to box for a while. But I do feel like at a point in time, he did just kind of like, you know, give up a little bit on the boxing stuff. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. I don't know. But anyways, he, you know, comparing him to like Floyd, you know, or even Floyd's like easiest opponent and stuff like KS or uh, not KS, like Comedy Shorts Gamer. It's like this man, th them boxers is training. Every it's like this is their life. They're not a content creator. They're not an entertainer. Like yes, they're they are a human just like you. They're a man just like you. But at the end of the day, when we're talking on boxing, I do feel like that Floyd is just a tad bit, not even a tad bit, a whole lot of bit more experienced than you. And that goes for Jake Paul too. Jake, I don't care who you knock out. I don't care how many fights you done won. I don't care how many people you done punked out. At the end of the day, Floyd can take on the both of you guys. No problem. Even him being 40-something years old. See, here's the thing. With Logan, he I feel like that Logan, he has like this, you know, this this thing about him where he's like, oh, I'm, I'm a good fighter because I got me a couple of um, fights underneath my belt. And I feel like I did good. So that's, I'm like, that's the thing where I'm like, you know, I personally feel like he's kind of getting ahead of himself. No disrespect in that. Anybody can do that, all right? There's no there's no problems with that. So I think he's getting a little bit ahead of himself. And then with Jake, he's definitely, like, gassed up right now. Man is gassed up right now. Because he on one, he's won every single, even in his, like, amateur uh, fight when he went up against uh, Deji. He won that fight. Well, Deji, they threw in the towel, but technically he did win that fight. Then he turns um, professional, wins his uh, um, four fights. Hold on for a second. Was it three or four? I think it was four. Hold on. Let me look. Let me look. Uh, Jake Paul. Oh, so it was only... Dang. Where did the fourth fight come from? I thought this man fought um, three times. But um, so, yeah. They, so he goes on against this uh, Gib guy, um, wins that by TKO, uh, knocks out Nate Robinson. Uh, yeah, so he knocks out all three of his opponents. And now Jake Paul, he thinks, like, he's, like, this, like, legend in boxing and stuff. But it's like, bruh, you only got three fights underneath you and stuff. What about that Ryan Garcia guy? I've, I feel like that would be the only, like, content creator. Well, he ain't even really a content creator. I mean, he is more of a, a boxer than a content creator. But anyways, uh, but no, he, he does have, like, you know, hold on. That man only has 900,000 uh, subscribers. Wow, I thought he had more than that. I don't know why I thought he had like a million, like millions of subscribers or something. But anyways, um, so even with this Ryan Garcia guy, I feel like definitely um, they, uh, uh, Jake Paul and Logan Paul, they don't got nothing on Ryan Garcia. I'm like, now that would be a fight I would like to see. But yeah, even um, uh, Ryan Garcia, I'm like, now that's that's why I think that they should like, you know, one of them guys should take on. I'm like. To really like test it out and stuff go up against somebody that's your age or around your age because i'm like okay they think that they can go up against floyd because his age like or, or and it's like in the times where they did go up against uh well the times were because what jake went up against um gib that he was around his uh age i i believe um yeah because it was like yeah that dude he looks he looks like he's in his 20s so that was like what the only like young fighter and then it was like when nate robinson this ben Askren guy both of them um, dudes was like in their 30s and stuff. So it's like they a little bit um, up there in age. Not a whole lot, but still somewhat. They're a lot older than uh, uh, Jake Paul. Jake Paul got more energy and stuff. So I think that's even more so a reason why I think uh, why Jake Paul won them fights. But I'm like, with Floyd, I, feel, I honestly feel like Floyd would consume that energy. Like them guys, I'm, I'm just saying, they don't stand a chance. They can, yes, they can probably land a punch or two. They, they're not just going to go into that fight and not fight. Like, they're going to fight. But at the end of the day, it will have to be a miracle. Like, they will have to be praying on this 24-7 for one of them two to knock out Floyd Mayweather. And if they do, now let's, let's just talk about that. Let's just talk about the possibility of 
one of them two knocking out uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather or winning against him. And if they just win against him, because this is like an exhibition, so it ain't going to be on Floyd's record or any of that stuff. So, but let's just say that like, he knocks him out, right? Logan Paul, like in this upcoming fight, he knocks him out. Out cold. Like Floyd is laid out on the mat. That is going to be a sight to see because we've never seen that. The fact, the fact that he's went up against all of these professional fighters and he gets all the way to this fight and he gets knocked out. Now, I think that one thing that he will talk on is that, um, oh, I'm up there in age, I'm old and all that stuff. And it's like, but bruh, you, I mean, like you, you was up there in age when you went up against Conor McGregor. I mean, it's like, you you can't hold you can't have that ex, um excuse forever. I'm like now if it was like a, a much more older like he's like 50, 60 or something. I'm like okay, well then yeah, then that will make sense and stuff. But I'm like 40 years old. I'm like bro, people be doing stuff at 40 and it's like look at them wrestlers. Look at them wrestlers. Like they be having wrestlers. They still um be doing like whole wrestling shows and stuff. And I'm like them guys is active and stuff. So I'm like yeah, I'm like bro, it's like you you know. It's like, if you knew that you were going to lose this, or you knew you was up there in age, you should have never took on this fight. But it's like, nah, you took on this fight. So therefore, then none of that age stuff, none of that. That can't work, okay? That can't work at all. So, I do think that if Logan, if he does win this, Logan is going to have a turn. That's, that's honestly going to be his life. That's honestly going to be his life. Like, there ain't no way that you can retire from that. No way possible. Because it's like, now that you have beat the, one of the greatest boxers of all times, and then the boxing industry is going to look at Floyd and be like, really, bruh? You let this content creator, you let this YouTuber knock you out. Like, nah, fam. Floyd is going to be, I, I definitely feel like Floyd, he is going to be, this is going to be like a level of anger he's probably ain't never felt before. This man might actually hurt somebody badly if he loses that fight. So, that's why I'm all like, okay, you know, if he loses, it's... We better just brace ourselves for probably... This is going to probably be one of the biggest days of all time. Because I'm like, nah, that that ain't normal. What just happened here? So, I definitely um will try my best to... uh If, you know, if I'm... Because I'm like, if I'm busy that day, then I'm like, all right, well, I'll catch the uh, highlights on Twitter and stuff. I, I'll try to, like, you know, make sure my schedule is clear so I can order that fight and things and see what goes down. Because I'm like, I'm curious. I'm very, very curious and stuff. So... But anyways, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe however it's set up. Uh, make sure you uh, um, subscribe to one of my 32 YouTube channels. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Twitch at Boss, And then make sure you like my uh, page on uh, Facebook, Boss fan page. Meantime, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening and peace.